consider a couple of fundamental facts that has been gleaned in the past 60 years. That the ingredients, if you had asked your chemistry teacher 50 years ago, once you looked at that mysterious chart of boxes that sat in front of your class, the periodic table of elements, where did those elements come from? The chemistry teacher would actually not have an answer for you. They'll say, well, you dig them out of the earth. That's not where they come from. It took modern astrophysics to determine the origin of the chemical elements. We observe stars, we know what goes on in their center, they explode, laying bare their contents. And what we have discovered is that the elements of the periodic table, that which we are made of, derive from the actions of stars that have manufactured the elements, exploded, scattered their enriched guts across the galaxy, contaminating or enriching gas clouds that then form a next generation of stars populated by planets and possibly life. And so, when you look at the ingredients of the universe, the number one ingredient is hydrogen. Next is helium. Next is carbon. Sorry, uh, hydrogen, helium, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen. Those are the top ingredients in the universe. So you say, well, okay, that's kind of cool. Well, and you look at Earth, because we like thinking of ourselves as special, we say, oh, we're special. Well, what are we made of? Well, what's the number one sort of molecule in the body? It's, it's water. It's water. Well, what's water made of? H2O. Hydrogen and oxygen. Hmm. In fact, if you rank the elements in the human body, with the exception of helium, which is chemically inert, useless to you for any reason other than just to inhale it and sound like Mickey Mouse. Hey, put him! can't die from helium unless that's all you breathe. Um, so, uh, number one in the human body is hydrogen. Matches the universe. Number two is oxygen. Matches the universe. Number three, carbon. Matches the universe. Number four, nitrogen. Matches the universe. And for each of us, the fifth element, other, is the same in both places. Okay? Other. So, we learn in the last 50 years that, of course, not only do we exist in this universe, it is the universe itself that exists within us. And had we been made of some rare isotope of business, you would have arguments, hey, we're something special. But there are people who are upset by that fact, saying, well, that, will that mean we're not special? Well, I think it, it's special in another kind of way when you look up at the night sky, it's no longer we're here and that's there. It's that we are part of it. And that association, for me, is actually quite enlightening and ennobling and enriching. In fact, it's almost spiritual. Looking up at the night sky and finding a sense of belonging.